So Beaten Demolition Derby is one of those derbies that I rent slash sell slash trade slash loan cars out to go to the derby. So I should actually have five cars here that I lent out to other people. But as you can see, I only have two. So something's gone wrong. Two of the cars people took the keys out of and I can't get because they're in people's driveways parked extremely funny. The other one got taken by a local tow truck company for scrap. So each one of these cars had notes written on them. Picked up tonight. It had it written on all the cars. It had notes written on the hood and all that. But a local tow company took one as scrap and I'm going to have to get it back. It is my car. I want it back. But what took out this car here is this car here was very rotted very very rotted like you can't see but like they just screwed a computer back into the floor to cover up all the big holes i actually think this car is not that bad a shape but the guy that drives it likes to use the front end a lot and it kind of got plowed in quite a bit um i know a buddy that's got one of these cars so i'm gonna message him and ask him if he wants any parts off this car this is a mazda protege wagon before it goes to the scrap so we'll see about that this uh, Ecotech Cavalier is actually mine from last year that I bought pre-ran off another buddy that was a derby guy. Um, what happened to this car last year is the driver's side motor mount broke, which actually made the motor throw around inside the engine bay and break the passenger side axle. Now, I fixed all that which was fine I put a new axle in it new strut new everything and I lent it to another buddy and when it was at his house somebody stole the key out of this car so if you notice it starts with the screwdriver now I don't know if any of you guys are very familiar with Cavaliers but once somebody steals that key and you do not have security bypassed my god is it a giant pain so it took me about a month and I was able to bypass all security on this car without a key. Uh, it involved me taking the computer to another Ecotech I have, having the car running, bypassing security on the computer, having security cut on this car, smashing it out, running a screwdriver, running a toggle switch to the starter, and then all that fun stuff backwards. So, yeah, anyway, it was a lot of work and I would not suggest it. If you have an Ecotech or any Cavalier or GM product, Actually, this is a good tip at all. If you have a derby car where you think stuff's going to happen to it, remove the keys, put the keys in a safe spot where you know where they will be, and keep them. If somebody steals your keys, it can become a giant headache. Even at the demolition derby. I've had it at the derby where somebody's taken my keys out of my car before I go in the ring. So, anyway, it is a giant, giant crappy experience having your keys stolen. So... This car here, what happens is uh, I'm going to basically take it for parts. This thing sat for two winters now. Um, used to be an old figure eight car. And basically, I'm getting my Alero back where everything out of this car can go into the Alero. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let this car go to scrap because of the electrical issues and uh, all that fun stuff. And I'll take everything else I need out of it and uh, build up a good Alero for a four-cylinder. 